Good morning friends, so today is going to be a very fun and exciting day when it comes to cooking. So what we're going to do is soon we're going to jump outside into the garden and harvest for our very first time our homegrown sage. So I'm growing white sage, so we're going to harvest some of that and use it in our cooking. I still got a pumpkin, I still got a few pumpkins left from last year when we harvested pumpkins. So we're going to make a pumpkin dish, a roasted pumpkin dish, which is going to be like a brown butter sage roasted pumpkin. That's what I'm kind of going to go for. I've never cooked or used sage before. I'm not too sure of flavour elements, but I have heard sage and brown butter go really, really good together. And I've never done brown butter anything either. So we're just trialling all these new things today. So that's going to be our side dish. And our main dish or our meat side of the dish is going to be chicken. So I'm just going to butterfly it open. We'll stuff it with our homegrown spinach that we're also going to go and harvest some some more sage um i'm gonna season it with some homegrown rosemary and chilies that i have preserved and those things i got from my parents garden so i preserved them into dried rosemary and some dried chili flakes so we're going to still use that and some feta cheese and just some other cheeses in there as well so essentially besides from salt and pepper and garlic everything else seasoning wise and obviously our pumpkin being the main vegetable as our side is all going to be home grown which is just makes my heart so happy um so yeah so that's going to be dinner tonight i currently got the dehydrator on with some bay leaves that i was gifted from my aunties from their garden so they live in adelaide they came up here i unfortunately didn't have a chance to see them but they did come up here for a couple of days and they gave some bay leaves for my mum to pass to me so i got that in the dehydrator going we got some vegetables nick's gonna make a Big batch of stir fry for freezer meals. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, a lot happening in the kitchen today, but first we'll go out into the garden, get what we need, and then we'll come back and get dinner all prepared and marinated, and then we don't have to worry about it, and then we'll just cook it later. It's gonna be good. So quick look of these bay leaves, and they're doing wonderful, so we let them keep on drying out and now we're out into the garden have harvesting the white sage so this is my first time harvesting from this plant as you can see it is pretty windy on this day hence why I'm doing this voiceover you just could not hear anything except for wind and you might have noticed this is sped up but you might notice I'm a little like skeptical when I touch this plant is because of bugs and eggs which I'll show you very shortly Okay, so I don't know how much you can hear because it is kind of windy, but here is obviously the plant. And I do have some ants, these bull ants. And I don't know if they are eating pest or if they are laying the eggs and they are the pest. So I accidentally took off a whole heap from here. But see the eggs? So yeah, I don't know if it's the bullets or if they're eating it and trying to protect my plant. I thought I'd just come over here just so you guys can hear me. So yeah, I don't know what these are. I don't know what I was trying to say. I don't know if you could hear with the wind. It's still a bit windy, but it's more covered here. Is is it aphid? A no, how do I say that? Aphids. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Eggs of that. Because I took a picture and I done like a Google image and that's what it comes up as. But I just don't know. Or is it those bull ants? Are they eating this? And so those bull ants are good. Or are they the culprits? And are they laying their eggs and damaging my plant? The leaves aren't getting eaten at yet. This is a new plant. I've only had it for, I don't know, maybe two months. Um, and it's thriving. It is growing really, really well. And it's thriving. It's growing really, really well. I just don't know what is going on. <laughs> with it uh, and i don't want to use any like sprays and stuff because i do want to grow organically 
but if it is aphids aphids why am i saying aphids i think that aphids but if it is that soapy water apparently can kill it so i might do that but what i'm gonna do so i got my um sage in a bowl i think this is plenty i really i don't know i've never really cooked with so i got my sage in a bowl here i've never really cooked with sage so i don't know how potent it is it smells so good and this is white sage as well um i'm gonna go wash this let it soak in vinegar and water to kill whatever these egg buggy things are and then i'll get a clean bowl and we'll come back and get the spinach but for now we'll clean this up so this is another close-up of these eggs which is where it's not windy and I'm actually concentrating on filming up a close up so you can see it more better. But obviously these eggs are quite disgusting. I didn't manage to wash them all off. That was perfectly fine. We still ate all these leaves, but how beautiful are those leaves underneath the horrible gross eggs? Um, but yeah, the leaves, they weren't getting eaten. Even now, this video is kind of behind from me editing this. Um, but right now, as I'm doing this voiceover, there's very minimal eggs there's i haven't seen those ants so i don't know what came along what hatched but either way they didn't stick around um and the plant's doing fine it is absolutely thriving and yeah that's great so here i'm just harvesting some baby spinach absolutely been loving this baby spinach i've been at it for quite a while now um unfortunately i didn't have as many plants as i did last year i was hoping to like quadruple the amount of plants that i did last year it didn't work out that way just because our landscape project just was didn't really get done <laughs> when i first initially thought it would but that's okay we're currently working towards that which i do have videos and things coming up from that but yeah i'm just here picking out these spinach and this done fine in these containers as well oh and here is a radish to be honest don't like radishes but I guess I'm harvesting this one I don't know I've never tried a, ha a radish I brought seeds I'm not a fan of them I'm going to plant seeds in the garden beds once that gets established and the landscape project we're doing now and I'm just going to give them to family because it's not something I quite enjoy eating but there's a radish <laughs> so in this water all I got so this is the spinach all I have is just water with a good old glug of white vinegar which <laughs> which to be honest Last year when I done my spinach, I didn't have to worry about it. I just rinsed it under water, but it's just the same bugs that was on the sage. It's not as bad. And those stupid green cabbage moth caterpillars, they give me the heebie-jeebies, but I saw the tiniest baby one, a live one, on one of these spinaches when I was harvesting. So I just got that soaking just to kill any bugs and to get the eggs and stuff loose. But what I did end up doing is having the tap running, like with the sage, what I did end up doing is having the tap running like this and just using my thumb and then the eggs all came right off. So, I mean, it is homegrown organic produce, but there's definitely water and time spent to getting it nice and clean. And then here I just got a tea towel. This is a sage, just nice and drying. So as you can see, they're perfect now with not a single bug or egg or anything on them because I'm so fuzzy. Wow, look at the detail of that leaf. Crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll do the same with the spinach. And then while this dries, we'll get the chicken prepared. But I'll just get the rest of the spinach washed up. So like I was saying with these spinach leaves, I did end up rinsing them under the water as well. Um, it is a lot of part time and patience. A lot of people just do it in handfuls and they don't go to individual leaves. It's just something I enjoy to do. Plus, I hate the thought of accidentally biting into a bug or an egg. So I do go one by one. Now I'm just using two chicken breasts. I'm only going to do two just because Nick and I were going to have one each. And I'm just butterflying the chicken breasts down to butterfly it open into a nice beautiful little heart shape and then we're just seasoning it with some salt pepper and garlic powder i'm sprinkling it on some homegrown home preserved dried rosemary which was in my parents garden same as these chilies are homegrown chilies from my parents garden that i had preserved into chili flakes and now here is the sage that is fresh from our garden that we had just harvested only what 30 minutes prior if that as well with our spinach homegrown fresh spinach and Zeke just making an appearance <laughs> I'm sprinkling on some feta cheese you can really add any seasonings or cheeses but I love feta and spinach combination 
and add just a sprinkle of some regular tasty cheese as well and now what we're going to do is roll these up to make it like a chicken breast roll roast so I'm just rolling it up and then with the help of cling film to get it nice and tight twisting the edges rolling it on the thing I don't really have the greatest strategy when it comes to this it's not something I make very often I have made this maybe two times in the past what 10 years so yeah it's definitely not something I do often I should do it more often though it was absolutely delicious and the fact that like I said besides from the salt pepper and garlic powder the all the other herbs and vegetables is all homegrown which is fantastic so these are going to the fridge and when they firm up they will stay in their shape just like this which is perfect okay so this is our homegrown pumpkin we've had this in storage I planted the seed for this pumpkin exactly one year ago yesterday so yesterday actually marked my whole one year of becoming a gardener and growing our homegrown produce so happy happy one year or two years I don't know yeah, happy one year. I've, I've successfully, well, I have had a lot of fails this past year gardening, but I'm, I'm now in my season two, I mean my year two of being a gardener, which is just crazy. Anyway, so yeah, this pumpkin, I planted the seed one year ago yesterday. We harvested, this pumpkin was in the last harvest. I think we got about three different harvests. We had two pumpkin vines. So, a recap of the pumpkins. I planted six seeds, all six germinated. I planted four out of the six seedlings. Two died, two survived. And two survived until the very end and I pulled them up. Um, so yeah, we had two pumpkin vines growing. And this one is definitely the best looking one. And I've been keeping it for a special dinner. I didn't know what kind of dinner, but I thought, Having a dinner where this is literally 90% homegrown produce, and like the only thing that I had to purchase was the butter, the cheese, and the chicken. Oh, and the salt and pepper and garlic powder. <laughs> but otherwise, besides the salt, pepper, and garlic powder, seasoning wise, vegetable wise, it's all homegrown. So I think that's pretty special. Um, and the last one I cut into a pumpkin, because these have been on, in storage, was we'd done it together maybe about three months ago so let's see if it's still good it looks all good on the outside so we'll see if it's still nice and good in the inside <laughs> it's looking good they're just so tough to cut into Wow, it would have looked nicer if I got cut in a straight line. Oh, the smell. Okay, I miss this smell. I have been humming and hiring whether I want to grow pumpkins again this year because I planted the seed, like I said, exactly one day yesterday. I mean, one year ago yesterday. So, and that was early, but I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> that was when. That was when I was a day zero gardener. I didn't know what I was doing, but it worked out. So here's her pumpkins. Well, the pumpkin. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm, yum. So I'm just dicing it up into small-ish bite-sized pieces. Um, and I'm only going to be using half of the pumpkin. The other half we'll keep and use at the end of the week. I don't know exactly what we're going to be using it for yet. But what am I like roast lamb? So maybe I'm gonna just do like a Sunday. Yeah. So maybe I might just do us like a Sunday roast lamb dinner and have roasted pumpkin as well. But I don't know if I mentioned at the start of this video or not, but with our roast pumpkin, we're going to be seasoning it kind of fancy. So we're going to be making it into um brown butter like brown butter sage roasted pumpkin is the flavor profile we're going for i've never used brown well i've never made or cooked with brown butter i've never used or cooked with 
that's the same thing with sage. Um, and normally if I roast a vegetable, it's just boiled salt and pepper. I don't generally lean towards more fancier flavors and stuff. So it's gonna be really nice for dinner tonight. All right, so I got my half a pumpkin in the bowl. I'm just gonna drizzle on some olive oil. I'm just gonna season it with salt and pepper. And then we'll give it the old shaky shaky to get it incorporated. I'm just going to spread it out evenly on my baking tray here and this is going to go into the oven at 200 degrees celsius for we'll go for 40 minutes that should be plenty here is our two chicken rolls that we done up so they're getting nice and firm well they're not getting nice and firm but they are nice and firm So just get some baking paper here and we're going to slowly unroll these ends and gently unroll it from the glad wrap. That's a bit long but that's okay. Do the same with this one. There we go. I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil over the top of both of these. And I'm going to just season with salt, just on the top. So I'm going to cover this with foil. And we're going to chuck this in the oven as well. I just put the pumpkin in. Pumpkin's got like a minute head start, so that's perfectly fine. We're going to chuck the chicken in the oven as well. I'd say about 20 minutes, we'll then come back and take this foil off. But I just want to make sure the rolled pieces right in the middle gets cooked. So yeah, we'll come back in 20 minutes. We will, so I've got the pumpkin on the top shelf. I've got the chicken on the bottom. We'll come back in 20 minutes. I'll take the pumpkin from the top onto the bottom chicken under the foil pop it on the top so then the chicken will get some color on as well for the final 20 minutes and then hopefully everything is all nice perfectly cooked and then it's done <laughs> all right and in my pan right here is about three four tablespoons of butter which i've got just on a medium heat i want that to get completely melted and this is going to be and this is going to turn into our brown sage brown butter to pop in our roasted pumpkin when that's ready all right, now you can see the butter is completely melted. I've got the last of the sage leaves that I harvested, which is 12. I didn't really count when I harvested it, I just wung it. <laughs> and I just got a small clove of garlic that I just kind of crushed slightly. And all we want to do is just let this butter brown. These leaves should become crispy. So I'm just going to give this a stir. Every now and then I'm going to watch it. I'm not going to increase the heat. It's going to be... A little bit of a slow process, I believe, but you just don't want it to get burnt. You want it to be nice and deepen the color to nice and brown, but not burnt. That's the goal. Hopefully I don't burn this. Um, oh, but just even just now, it smells incredible. Um, you can season it with salt and pepper. I'm not going to just because the pumpkin already has salt and pepper and that chicken has a lot of salt and pepper on it. So I'm just going to leave it as purely the sage and the garlic and we'll just keep watching it I suppose watching the different stages and how this process goes as you can see as well it's kind of getting white and foamy if this is just the milk solids if you wanted clarified butter for a recipe you would just melt down butter to this point and then with this white foam it's very easy to skim off you can kind of see that there and that once all this white stuff is skimmed off that will give you your clarified butter but we don't want clarified butter, we want brown butter. So we're just going to keep this process going. And that white foam, all that is, is just the milk solids, I believe, um, of the 
butter just because of it interacting with the heat and moisture content I believe I'm not a hundred percent sure but it does have something to do with that as you can see right now though that white foamy stuff's already kind of evaporated off so now the next stage should be brown butter you can see the color changing and these leaves are getting crispy this garlic's getting crispy I think this is just all the sediment from the bottle of the pan coming up. That's a little gross. <laughs> oh. So as you can see, the color is starting to change. It's getting nice and crispy now, the garlic and the sage. And the color is deepening. I don't think it's too far off. I did show you guys, but apparently I didn't hit the record. I had just taken out the pumpkin, which is looking beautiful. Unfortunately, my chicken is looking ugly it's white but I reckon we'll give this butter just a slight more because I don't want the sage to burn that's definitely nice and crispy but I think I want this butter more brown or maybe not you know what I'm gonna call it so you just want to drizzle And that is literally it. <laughs> so we're just going to let it sit in this hot butter while we wait for our chicken to attempt to get some color. I don't know if it is or not. But yeah. I can't get over how nice and crispy those leaves got in that butter. Oh my goodness. And the smell. That's, that's incredible. <laughs> that's a close up of the pumpkin, the brown butter sage pumpkin. Yum. And here comes my unfortunate, ugly, pale chicken. I wish I didn't put foil on it now, to be completely honest, but, oh well. It is what it is. It's ugly, but it's gonna be delicious. No doubt about that. All right, I'm just impatient. I want to slice into these chickens. Am I nervous it's not gonna be pretty in the inside? Yes, but surely it's gonna be more pretty than the outside. I did end up sprinkling on some pepper. Just in hopes to try and give it some kind of color, but. I was thinking about butcher twine to twine it up, which I think I should have done, but I mean, it's fine. This will still do. It smells really good. Definitely ain't the prettiest, but it smells delicious. I am not mad about it. It definitely could have used some color on top but I mean that looks delicious <laughs> it smells delicious I mean that's not bad for a home grown dinner all I had to purchase was the cheese and the chicken and the butter <laughs> oh, yum and you can bet we're having a taste test of this mm, smells so good again never cooked sage I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna have a crispy piece of sage. Hopefully, I like it. I don't know what it tastes like sage. I guess <laughs> I'm gonna try some pumpkin. I know I like this pumpkin. Obviously, I've eaten what. 20? Actually, I haven't eaten 20. I've 20. They're just in the freezer. 
We've eaten a lot though. With that brown butter. I just have to age on that one. That is incredible. All right, we'll try chicken with everything. I've made this before. Mm. Never made it with sage in it though. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. I better serve up next <laughs> and feed him. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I can feel chicken in my teeth. It just makes my heart so happy that, like I said, homegrown sage, homegrown pumpkin, homegrown spinach. <sighs> Although my garden is definitely not what I had planned for this winter season, I'm banking on <laughs> this spring and summer is when we'll get our landscaping all completed. So then I can have like the garden of my dreams for this property at least. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'm going to go serve up Nick and we're going to, well not serve him up, but serve him up his food. And we're going to go enjoy this lovely homegrown dinner together. I just love flexing like the whole homegrown aspect. Like, that's fun too. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.